Hello, everyone. Welcome to Glory Talk. This is May 2nd, 2023. Welcome. Please like, subscribe, and share, and follow all the video videos, words, and posts, and uh, get God out there. Um, that's what our job is to do. Our job is to get God out there. Spread them to everyone. Yeah, everybody needs to know about what he's up to and what he's doing. And how wonderful he really is. Yeah. Amen. And please, if you want to give, give to Glory Talk. Right now I'm at paypal.me slash Glory Talk. I have a description under each of them. I have uh, Glory Talk on Facebook and Glory Talk on YouTube. And so you'll see a description there. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and pray in what we're going to do today. All right. Father God, Holy Spirit, and Jesus Christ, thank you for everything you've done. You are worthy to be praised. Bless your holy name. I ask, Lord, that you come through, that you are honored and praised, and your word is brought forth for everyone to hear what you have to say. And I ask that I effectively, efficiently just get everything you need to be said out there so everybody can hear it and that everybody will receive it and everyone will understand it. Yes, for your kingdom and your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right. Praise God. Here we are. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I have some ideas about what I'm going to talk about and we're going to just, uh, you know, I relieve... I, I just make sure that I listen to the Holy Spirit as the conversation goes, and that way we're guided by what God wants to say. And um, I've been doing this for a while. Thank you, Lord. I just, and, and I can feel God showering me when he wants to do stuff, you know, and he wants to show up and take care of things, and he wants to talk about things. So he's already here. He's already showing up, and it's been amazing, and I thank you for that. Praise you, Holy Spirit, God the Father, Jesus Christ. So remember, when you honor him, he will honor you too. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. So let's just uh, wait upon him a little bit, see what he has to say. Now remember, the Holy Spirit talks to you in a still, small voice. And um, if you're having trouble, just say, I bind you, Satan. I bind you, self. I bind you, stranger. And I bind you, distraction. That way you don't hear nothing else. Just get rid of it. You can do that all day. Listen to what the Holy Spirit's been talking to you about. And he's your best friend. He'll talk to you all day. Amen. He'll remind you of the scriptures. He'll remind you of something he told you earlier. He's just amazing. And he's going to be like your best friend. Amen. I heard scriptures ringing in my ears um, from the Holy Spirit. And I did write some down. Let's see if he wants to continue with that. Oh, yeah, I hear the Holy Spirit say, yeah, it's a good idea. <laughs> I tell you what, he's he's fun with me. He's a lot of fun with me. Okay, so he's, he's prompting me to do this. Okay, so he's telling me to, um, the Holy Spirit's telling me, <coughs> excuse me, the Holy Spirit's telling me to talk about this. Um, I wonder if, we're going to set this up a little bit before we start talking about it. Um, okay, so the future's coming. The future's coming with God's kingdom era and reign coming through. It's going to be the divine kingdom, by the way. And I have, I want to tell you where it's at. There, the divine kingdom, they talk about it in Daniel 2, 44. So remember, we haven't, uh, we haven't come into the divine kingdom yet. And from what I understand and what, we re and what we read in the scriptures, we're not done with everything. So we have to do this divine kingdom before we are taken back up into heaven. And that is what's coming in our future. Amen. Remember, this is the kingdom that never ends. We're going to see heaven on earth, just like in his scriptures. It talks about how 
The Lord's Prayer even says it on earth as it is in heaven. He he mentions it in there. And I tell you what, I kept I kept thinking to myself, wow, that's really, really a good, you know, that's a good verse. And then it, it finally makes more sense now, you know, for our future. He also talks about, we haven't even set up all this around us for Isaiah 60 and 61 to happen yet. And that's what we're going into right now. We're transitioning into now. We are going to shine like the like the light of God through us with the love of God coming through us. And the glory is going to be on our faces. And um, read about Isaiah 60 and 61. This is what we're stepping into. And the nations are going to help us rebuild everything for God's kingdom and his kingdom reign. Amen. And so he wanted me to set that up for us. Okay. Now remember, he's going to provide for us. He's going to provide for us as we switch into this new kingdom era and reign. And um, it's kind of like what you're becoming. What you're becoming un into this new kingdom era and reign is like you're going to be the believers in Christ, the ones that are actually truly following him, are going to be set up in order to be the leaders, the leaders in everything, and to be the, and, and lead the way through to the new kingdom, you know, era. And as we transition over to it now, and I can tell you there's a huge shift going on now, and I've noticed it. And um, thank you, Lord. And God's confirming that. He just washed me. He showed up. He did, his presence just showed up. It's like we're shifting into this new kingdom era and reign. And it's the, it's the last kingdom. It's the divine kingdom. And in order to do that, he's going to set us up with, with the things and the means that we need to go through with it. And so it's not about us serving the system that's in place now. It's us serving the system that's coming through, which is God's system. And God's system is not this. He calls it the Babylonian system. It is a, it's, he keeps telling me, and I've, I've read it in the scriptures, that we're a slave to this system. And if you think about it, we really are. They have designed this system to where we have to pay all these taxes to where we have to do all this stuff and be controlled by the narrative of what they have going on today. And you can see that we have to pay taxes for this. We have to um, be under regulation all the time about this and this and this, you know. And it's like, no, that's not what God intended. God never intended it to be this way. We are going to be truly free when we come out of this. We are going to be truly free when we come out of this whole Babylon system. And it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. And I tell you, he keeps showing me glimpses of it and telling me about some of it. And I've also had that confirmed from other people and I, I um, from other prophetic uh, people and the ones he lets me listen to. And... Um, I also operate in prophecy, and so I've had my own prophecy, and I've gave, I've given out prophecy already about what we're come what we're coming into and what we're stepping into, and which is that, and it's that new divine kingdom. The divine, divine kingdom is going to be amazing, guys. It's going to be amazing. So we're going to become those kingdom financiers. We're going to become the people that have everything, and the believers in Christ, the ones that are truly, truly, truly serving God, and truly serving Christ, and being that Christ-like uh, servant. We are going to shine and show the world God's love. And we're going to be the ones in charge. We're going to be the ones that are becoming the, the ones that change everything for God. We are going to be like the kingdom financiers of the new kingdom. And it's going to be amazing. And he's only, he's only giving it to people that he knows he can trust with it. And so... I know that he's been working on a lot of us for many years already to be set up for this. And if if he hasn't done that for you yet, uh, seek him. Try to find out what it is you're supposed to be doing with him. And seek him to see if there's something you need to be refined on, you know, and if you need to be 
um, cleansed and and um, and line up to God's kingdom uh, living. Ah, it's that kingdom living, and that kingdom living is such a big deal to God. His kingdom living is a big deal. He doesn't want you living in sin. He said he already took care of it on the cross with Jesus Christ, you know, and Jesus Christ took all the sin out of the world, but yet people return to the way of living in the world. And remember, the scriptures say, we're in it, not of it. Remember? We're in it, not of it. And that's what he wants me to remind you of. And go ahead and look that one up, by the way. He always tells me, have everybody look it up. Have everybody look it up. That way you put it in your mind, your heart, and your soul. Yeah, and apply it to your life. <laughs> All right. So he's given me some scriptures. I'm going to make sure this is our, where we're going to go. And I'll listen to the Holy Spirit here and see if he's going to change things up a little bit. Scriptures are good. Okay, Holy Spirit, thank you. So he wants us to talk about these scriptures. Um, this one is really cool. It's about the provision that God's going to give us. And he has promised us. And um, right here it says in Philippians 4, 19, and this is the Amplified Version. He says, and my God will liberally supply, fill until full your every need according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. I just heard the Holy Spirit say, go over it. So we're going to go over it. Okay, so it says who? It says, and this is, and this is, uh, he says, my God, so that's our God, will liberally supply fill until full that's for you and me your every need according to whose his riches in glory in christ jesus you and me are going to have this we will liberally so god will liberally supply fill until full i mean that's amazing fill until full i mean that's full at the brim amen your every need according to his riches, which is God's riches, in glory in Christ Jesus. That's amazing. That's a lot of riches. <laughs> I mean, praise God, Lord. Praise God. Praise you, Jesus, Holy Spirit, God the Father. It's amazing. It's his riches. I mean, that's pretty awesome because in heaven, it's pretty, it's pretty obvious how abundant it is. I mean, when you read about heaven, it's fully, everything is done. Everything is your needs are all there. Everything is abundance. Everything is with his glory and his splendor. Can you imagine? That's what's going to come to us. And this is what we're stepping into. We're coming into this kingdom. Amen. And he says, keep going. My, I heard the Holy Spirit say, keep going. So here we go. Um, Ephesians 3, 20. And this is the amplified version. He says here, now to him who is able to carry out his purpose and do super, uh, super abundantly more than all that we dare ask or think, and then infinite, infinitely beyond our greatest prayers, hopes, and dreams. I love the Amplified Version. According to his purpose, that is, that is at work within us. And then he actually says in three twenty one, to him be the glory in the church. And in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. And I just heard the Holy Spirit say, go over it. So here we're going to go over it. Or now remember, this is, this, is who, this is what's coming to us. And this is what? Now to him, which is who? God is able. And who is able? So he is able to carry out all his purpose. So he's able to carry it all out, do it all. And do super, oh my gosh, super abundantly. So that's super abundantly. I love how that says that. More than all that we dare ask. I mean, I must admit, I ask a lot. <laughs> I ask a lot. And I know you guys do too. Uh, and if you don't, go for it. Start asking in Jesus' name. Start getting to know him. Start communicating with God. Start getting to know God and communicate because, man, that's what he wants. And look, it says more than all we ask that we dare ask. And we, I must admit, I don't ask in everything. I, I forget sometimes, you know. And so I have been asking in a lot of things. And so that's for you. Remember, do super 
abundantly more than all that we dare ask. That's what God will do for you. And it says he is able to. He is able to do this more than all we dare or ask. Oh my gosh. It even goes further. It says, or think. So even if we think, he will, who God will, he's able to do super abundantly more than all that we dare ask or think. That's cool. Even more than we think. Infinitely beyond our greatest prayers, hopes, and dreams. And that's the expanded amplified version. And then he says, according to his power that is at work within us. So that's Christ in us, working in us. And if you think about it, infinitely beyond our greatest prayers. Praise God. I mean, I pray a lot already, and I must admit, I need to pray a lot more, you know. All of us do, and I encourage you to pray a lot more. Keep that communication going. It is actually like prayer and communicating with God. And infinitely beyond our greatest prayers, hopes, and dreams. Gosh, you guys, that's a lot. According to who? Who? God's power that is at work within us because we accepted Jesus Christ into our lives. That is, oh my gosh. According to that work that is in us. And it's his power. It's not even our power, you know. It's God's power. So that's a lot of power. That's everything. And it says, and in 321, it says, to him be the glory in the church and Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. And then, of course, we give God the glory. We give the Lord to be the glory in the church. So that's cool. And that's to God who is, who is, he, he is the glory in us. He's the glory in the church, all of us that are believers in Christ, in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. I'm feeling this, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. You're showering me with your presence. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, God the Father. Um, wow. You lift him up like that, he's going to start showering you. When you, when you speak his words, when you speak his words and believe it and, and, and tell people about it and experience it, it's so cool because just from me saying this right now and teaching it and, and, and sharing it with you, God's just showing up like crazy. He's showering me with his presence. And look what happens when we just do this and we talk his word. This is an example for you guys to do this. So when you share with people, share God's word with people. And God's going to show up and completely saturate you and have his presence come through. And he guides the whole conversation. He will guide you. The Holy Spirit will guide you to what you need to say when you start sharing God and his word. And right here, he's doing that with me. So this is an example for you. So I want you guys to do that. Start speaking up God. Start showing God, you know, just sharing God to everyone and speak his word. It's his promises. Look up in his word what his promises is. And these are promises of what he's going to do for us. Praise you, Jesus. I thank you. I thank you, Father, Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ. I'm feeling his presence big time. Thank you, Jesus, Holy Spirit, God, the Father. And so he will do that for you. He will keep showing up his presence with you in order for you to share even more. Because what he honors those who praise them. He showers those who praise him. He wants his presence on you. He wants to shower you with his love. And that's what it is. It's his presence and his love. Keep going there. You're going to get it. If you don't have it, you're going to get it. <laughs> and I release God's presence through the phone to you. I release and I, I, I release God's presence to the phone, through the phone to you, because it works that way too, by the way. And you can do that to anyone and everyone. When you talk to him, when you text, when you share God with anyone in person or through the phone or email or anything, God will show up and come through. That's just the way it works. All right. And then there was one more. So I want to make sure because this one has a warning on it, too. So um, I, I heard the Holy Spirit say, go ahead. All right. <clears throat> OK, so this was in Deuteronomy. And this is the Old Testament, by the way. And this is when. Um, mm, oh, this is from Moses. That's right. OK, so this is Deuteronomy 8, 18. And I'm reading out the Amplified Version. And it says here, but you shall remember and remember, you should remember with profound respect. So have respect 
the Lord your God, for it is he who is giving you power to make wealth, the, and that he may confirm the covenant which he swore solemnly promised to your fathers as it is this day. Praise God. So it's all about God. Don't forget God in this equation. Remember, with all this wealth showing up, we're not going to forget what God's done for us. And right here is an example of it in the Old Testament. So we'll go over that. Okay. The Holy Spirit said, go over it. He said, he says right here, but, and this is Moses talking to the people, but you shall remember with profound respect the Lord your God, for it is he who is giving you power to make wealth that he may confirm his covenant, which he swore solemnly promised to your fathers as it is this day. So remember, mm, don't forget God through this whole process. When, when you get, and God's going to give you the wealth, by the way, because you're serving him. So don't, re, don't forget him through this whole transition, through this whole thing and stepping into the new kingdom, divine kingdom, because it says, do not forget, do not forget and it says, you shall remember with pro profound respect. So remember, we have to respect God because he's the authority, the Lord your God, for it is he who he who is giving you power to make wealth. Praise God. You're right. God, thank you. You're giving us the wealth. Amen. And it says here that he may confirm his covenant, which he swore. And there is a covenant to our fathers as it is this day. And it says solemnly promised. And that's the expanded amplified version. Lord Almighty, Jesus, Holy Spirit. We have to remember not to listen to those naysayers around us, remember? We have to remember not to listen to the evildoers around us. And God is taking them out, by the way. God is getting them and he's removing them. And he will remove them out of your life also. And he is doing that right now. And I've seen that happen. And... This system that has been built by the, the evil ones and the devil, it is going to be taken down, just like it says in Revelations. And I actually have that right here. And that is uh, where Babylon is falling. And that is Revelations 18. Boy, howdy, read that one up. Read Revelations 18. It's all about Bob Babylon falling. And that's the system that we see around us that controls us and tells us what to do and how to do and when to do it. That's the system that's coming down. He's, tell he's telling us it's coming down. And this is the time we're living in. And it says here, don't forget God. Don't forget him when this happens. You're going to have to stand on him when this all this stuff is falling down around you. You're going to have to have this faith of strong faith in him and remind yourself that while all this falls down around you, you got to remember to rely on God, to put your trust in him and to put your super laser-like focus on Christ to be his example to the world because you're going to need it. Amen. You're going to need it. And it says here, and here's a warning for today too. And this was a warning back then, and this is a warning for today. That's what God told me. So go ahead and share it. Is that okay, Holy Spirit? He likes it. Yes. Holy Spirit says, go ahead. So, and it says, and it shall come about if you ever forget the Lord your God and follow other gods and serve them and worship them. So, you know, the Israelites were not, we're not toting the line. Remember what happened to them? Oh, quite a few did not make it to the promised land. And it says right here, I testify against you today that you will most certainly perish. And that's in 819. And then in 820, it says, like the nations which the Lord causes to perish before you, so shall you perish because you will not listen to or and obey the voice of the Lord your God. Oh, oh, praise you, Jesus, Holy Spirit, God, the Father. Thank you for the warning. Thank you for the warning. Thank you. There's a warning. Remember, we're in this for God. We're in this to do what his bidding, his way, his love, his mercy, his kindness, his journey, everything about him. We're not here about our selfish needs anymore. We're here about getting this kingdom started and getting this kingdom put into place with God Almighty and Jesus Christ and Holy Spirit and moving it forward. That's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. So, Remember the warnings. I got to go over them again, huh? Okay. And we got we got to where we didn't do 19 and 20 yet. So let's do those. And um, 
It says, and it shall come about if you ever forget the Lord your God and follow other gods and serve them and worship them. Now remember, they were serving a calf. They were complaining. They were complaining in the in the wilderness, you know. They they had everything. They had the spoils of Egypt. They were able to go in and ransack Egypt, and all the Israelites came out of there like with anything and everything they needed. They were even healed when they walked out of there. It even says that when they came out of Egypt, the Israelites came out of Egypt, there were no feeble among them. Look that up. Look that up. And they had the spoils and everything of Egypt they took with them. And so what they did, they said, well, and you know, it, he warned them not to do it. And then they did. And then it says, I testify against you today that you will not, you will most certainly perish. So right there, he says, he told them, do not follow that stuff. Do not try to make a God before him. And they did. It says, do not do that. Other gods and serve them and worship them. And they did. They made a golden calf and they started serving that and they fell into their lustful desires of all that. And it says right there in, in Exodus, I believe it was, in, yes, that they, I remember there was serpents that came through and killed quite a few of them. And Moses had to actually step in and stop it please, Lord, don't let them all go out. And then he had, and so he begged God not to let everyone get, get killed. And so he did save some. And so, and it says like here, and it says like the nations which the Lord causes to perish, and this is in 20, like the nations which the Lord causes to perish before you, so shall you perish because you would not listen to and obey the voice of the Lord your God. So remember, if you don't obey what God's doing, he is going to allow you to perish. He is. He is. And they, there was quite a few of them that did not go to, into the promised land. And this is a comparison of what we're doing today. God keeps telling me and other people and other prophets that this is the comparison of what we were living through. This is our great exodus. That was the exodus, the Israelites from the Egyptians. Now God is telling everyone and all of us, and he, I've been hearing it from God and also other prophets that he allows me to listen to, that we are in the world exodus taking out of the system of Babylon and the modern day Egyptians. And we're being taken out of it and removed from it and put into what? God's kingdom, divine kingdom, era and reign. And so I'm, I'm warning you, not I'm warning you, but God's warning you. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Lord. I'm just telling you, there's a warning here. Remember, do not fall back into the ways of the world. It says we are in the world, not of it. Remember, we are in the world, not of it. These people were of the world, just like most of the people we are around that are around us. They're serving the world. They're serving the system of the world. They're serving um, the lust of their uh, of their heart and the lust of their minds and their wills and their souls. And it's time to repent, isn't it, Lord? Yes, it's time to repent and get back on the right path. Get back on the right path towards Christ and the Holy Spirit's guiding me this way. Um, remember, you're going to have to repent. And when you repent, you put things back in perspective. When you repent, you go back into the right correction <clears throat> of what Christ wants it to be of how you serve him first and not the things around you and not the things that are serving sin and evil. And so that's what the world's doing. And in order to do that, you have to say, okay, Lord, just say it out loud and you can follow me and I'll, I'll lead you in prayer. And I heard the Holy Spirit say, go ahead. All you have to do is say, Jesus, you died on the cross for my sin. I acknowledge what you did and you took the sin of the world. And I ask for forgiveness and I repent. Keep going and say it with your words and he will remove it and take it away from you, take it out of you and I'll forgive you. There you go, keep going. And then all you have to do is believe in Jesus and what he did for you, how he saved the world, how he saved you 
personally saved you. And all you have to say, Lord, I believe in you. Jesus, I believe in you. I believe in you, Jesus. I want to serve you and only you. And I acknowledge you. And I want you in my life. And you are first in my life. There it is. Just say it with your words. And now, keep going. That's right. There's still a few more. Say it with your words. I want you, Jesus, in my life. There you go. I believe in you. There it is. I believe in you, Jesus. And guess what? Now you're a child of God. Now you're saved. You're born again. Truly born again. Amen. You're a child of God now. Welcome, sons and daughters. <sighs> Welcome, sons and daughters of God. Praise God. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. All right, Lord, there's some more. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. All right, so go out and tell somebody. And if they don't receive it, don't worry about it. Go to somebody else that'll receive it. Tell somebody you're, you're a Christian. Tell somebody about God. Tell somebody that what he did for you, you know, he saved you and you've been born again. You've been washed away from all those sins. You know, you've been washed away from all those things of the world. Amen. Amen. What a wonderful day. Beautiful day. Thank you, Jesus, Holy Spirit, God, the Father for doing that. And I'm starting to hear wrap it up. So uh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, so. Please like, subscribe, and follow, and share all the videos and words and posts. Go out there and tell people about God. Get them out there to everyone. And, and please keep going there. Keep uh, sharing God to everyone. And this is helps me do it too when you do this, when you help like, subscribe, and follow, and share. And then also you can give at Glory Talk at uh, paypal.me slash Glory Talk, and you'll see a picture of me there. And um, that's where you can give to me. I do have the descriptions in Facebook and YouTube, and um, you can find it under each YouTube um, video and also on the About section. And also under Facebook, I have a tile also, or not a tile, but I would say it is a pinned um, post that shows the information there too. And I'm under Glory Talk on each one, and you'll see a picture of me, and that's where I'm at. Um, I tell you what, please, yeah, because when it helps me out so much, it helps me get this word out. And it is something God told me to do. And he keeps telling them. He keeps telling me, he says, okay, tell them about it and tell them to seed into something that they're learning from. Seed into something that builds you up and keeps you going and going towards that prize. What's that prize? That's in Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, so thank you. And until next time, I've been doing this. I'm going to do this again. Embrace. This is for God, okay? Do this for God and yourself. Embrace life. Live it to the fullest. Enjoy it. Seize that moment in Jesus Christ. And do the things that he would do. Be the things he would be. And lift him up to everyone. For everyone to see. Praise God. That's good. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you. So until next time, I love you guys very much. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.